you think making monthly payments means you'll be spared harassment by debt collectors, think again. A new lawsuit filed by a Tampa attorney accuses one company of robo-dialing one customer more than 1,800 times over a bill that she was actually paying. Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway explains how this case could pay the victim thousands in the end. My grandmother was like my mother. The woman Tanya Stevens called mom fell ill in 2015. My grandmother was dying, and we had home hospice and everything for her. Tanya says a robo-dialer's incessant phone calls often came during visits Hello. with her grandmother. I tell you guys, every time you call, to quit calling me. Okay, well, we do need to call in reference to the bill, ma'am. No, you don't need to call me. The calls coming from Cons, a Texas-based appliance retailer where she had purchased she items for her home. I was making my payments not on time because they wanted the January 3rd date, but I was making my monthly payments to them. On this check, you can see where she writes in the memo line, quit calling. Did you think there was any way if you were making payments that they would be able to do this to no. you? The way I was raised, if you pay your bills, you know, then everything's good. According to the suit filed by Tanya's attorney, Billy Howard, cons called her day after day as many as 11 times a day for 14 months. They called my client almost 2,000 times after she told them to quit calling. In this recorded call, Tanya explains her grandmother is on her deathbed. And I'm calling with cons, ma'am. Am I speaking to Tonya? Yes, and you'll get your payment just as soon as I bury my grandmother. Quit calling me. We have a right in this country to tell these robo-bullies to stop calling. And they don't do it. Federal law makes it illegal for robo-dialers to continue to ring your cell once you ask them to stop. It's not right. It's not right to bother someone 1,800 times. Cons did not grant us an interview but said in this email, we dispute the assertions in Ms. Stevens' complaint, but due to pending litigation, we could not discuss the specific details of her credit account.